The Intel Nook PCs are really popular due to their small form factor and ease of use. And it's great for anyone that doesn't want to build their own small form factor PC, but also wants some of that performance as well. So today I have an Intel Nook, but it's a little bit special. Let me explain. So today I'm going to be unboxing and tearing this thing down because I really want to see the internals of this thing. Also, I will be doing a full review on this. So after I've had it for a couple of weeks, I'm going to see how this performs in my daily life. So stay subscribed for that. But let's just get this thing unboxed and teared down. So the Intel Nook that I have here is the Nook 11 TNK V7. So if we just turn it around, we'll go through some of the main specifications of this. So this is the Pro Kit. So this comes with the Intel Nook Slim chassis, uh, pre-assembled with the Intel Nook 11 Pro board with Intel Wi-Fi 6. Obviously got a installed version of Windows 10 Pro with a vase mount bracket, adapter, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 SODIMM slots. And we've also got a Sabrent 500 gigabyte M.2 2280 Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So let's crack into this thing. So I've got my unboxing knife. Oh wow, okay, it's been a long time since I've looked at a Nook and whoa, that is small. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. So here's the Intel Nook and let's just remove that top layer. And yeah, it's very, very small. So let's see what other accessories we get. So we've got some instruction manuals just over here. We've got the vase amount as well. We've also got the power adapter as well as a few screws as well. And that's basically it. So some of them will just come with this. So you will need to buy the relevant plug to go in. So for me, obviously I live in the UK, so I have the three pin, but again, just plug it into the adapter. Just make sure you've got the right connector. So let's take a look around the Intel Nook because this has a lot of IO. Looking at the front, you get USB 3.2 Gen 2. So that gives 10 gigabits per second. We also get the power button. Here we have the air vent as well as a Kensington lock. Now at the back, we've got quite a few ports. So let's run through it. So first of all, obviously you've got the air vent, you've got the 19 volt DC input. You've also got two Thunderbolt ports, one of them being uh, Thunderbolt 4, one of them being Thunderbolt 3. So again, you've got both in the Intel Nook. Then you've got two HDMI ports as well as a 2.5G Ethernet port. And then you've got one USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB port, and that is 10 gigabits per second. And then you've got a USB 2.0 port. Then looking at the other side, you've also got another air vent, and then we're back to the front. And then at the top, there's basically nothing to it. And then at the bottom, it just obviously tells you a few different specifications. So let's crack this thing open. And I've got a screwdriver just here because that's all you need. Don't listen to The Verge. I know, bad burn. All right, anyway, old video. So all that you need to do is just unscrew the feet. So let's pop this thing open and oh, that is nice. So there's a few components over here. So let me run you through it. So first of all, we've got two eight gig sticks of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. And again, this is upgradable up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. And then we've got our Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 500 gigabytes of NVMe storage. So this is Gen 4 speeds in this one. And as it says there, this is for NVMe only. And then we also have a B key SATA drive as well that you can fit here. So again, it's got the standoffs pre-installed. And if I just grab my little screwdriver, I'm going to uninstall the SSD. So this is actually how easy it is to even upgrade it. So 500 gigabytes isn't uh, enough. You can just literally pull this stick out, grab yourself another uh, Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 drive, but you know, get a one terabyte, two terabyte, whatever you need, we've got it. And then underneath here, we've got another PCI uh, slot, and this is for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I believe. Let's turn this around. So, yep, so Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then if you ever need to upgrade the RAM, super easy for you newbies out there, just literally slide those two things out, grab the sticks, and then you're able to replace them with 
more RAM. And then to slot it back, just make sure you have that notch lined up and then push down until you hear a click. And then let's install our NVMe drive. So again, make sure it slots in. And then you just push it down slightly. So again, when you're when you're putting back the screw, you want it to be, you know, fairly tight, but obviously not too tight. Because remember, it's just holding in the SSD and it's not exactly like a portable device. So there you go. So it's wrist tight, so no more than that. And there you go. Now one attention to detail, which I really like to see, is the fact that they've installed some pads, some thermal pads for the SSD, because obviously NVMe SSDs, when pushed under load, need that thermal dissipation. And obviously with this aluminium bottom and the thermal pad, that's going to be, or should be enough for that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna install that again, and then re-screw that. Let's go into a little bit more detail regarding these specs and what makes this one a little bit more special compared to the others. So this one here has the Intel Core i7 1185G7 processor that can clock up to 4.8 gigahertz in terms of its boost frequency. And it's a four core, eight thread CPU with a TDP of 28 watts. Now in terms of the graphics, this has integrated XE graphics, so Intel XE graphics. And in terms of the graphics output, we've got two dual HDMI 2.0B ports, as well as the dis dual display port 1.4A via the USB-C ports. So apart from the technologies like the Intel Pro platform, the Intel virtualization technology via, via direct IO, so VDT, and the Intel virtualization technology VTX, this is also TPM version 2.0, meaning that you can upgrade this to Windows 11, meaning that this is gonna be future-proof when that version of Windows comes out. So that was a quick video of me opening up the Intel Nook as well as seeing what's inside. As you saw, it's got a lot of specifications and I love the fact that obviously it's got that Sabrent SSD inside as well. And it's the Gen 4 version, meaning really, really fast speeds and obviously future proofing as well. I can't wait to use this thing in my daily workflow and I'll definitely be doing a review on it. So stay subscribed if you wanna see that. One thing that I'm really surprised about this new Intel Nook is the fact that this is really dense. Like looking at the old Intel Nooks or if you've owned one before and you're looking at this one, as you see, there's not very much space left in this little machine. I mean, they have used almost every inch and centimeter, millimeter of this to get as much tech into this as possible. But what I do like is the fact that if you need to upgrade, let's say the SSD to more storage or you wanna chuck in more RAM, like you wanna you know, have 32 or 64, you're able to do it quite easily with just a Phillips screwdriver. But anyway, like I said, just a quick impression of the Intel Nook definitely stay subscribed to watch my full review on it. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.